Howdy, Todd Anderson here with how to build a model rocket. Now let's go through the materials you're going to need in order to accomplish this process and follow along with this video. Our model rocket is going to be based on a kit put out by Pitsco and you can find their materials at www.pitsco.com. You're going to need some scotch tape, a glue gun, a ruler, and some scissors. First we'll start with building the body tube of our rocket. You're going to need about three strips of adhesive tape cut about 18 inches long, a couple pieces of white printer paper, and an, uh, a body tube mold, um, approximately one inch in diameter. Now let's look at the mold that we're using. This one we're using is approximately 12 inches tall and one inch in diameter as I just mentioned. Um, really you just need something that's going to be about the length that you want your rocket to be but one inch is what we need it to be for the engines that we're using in this rocket. You want to completely cover this mold with the white printer paper. Just make sure that the printer paper as you wrap it around you're taping it to itself and not to the mold at all so that the mold eventually will be able to just slide out and be removed. Okay, once you have it covered you should end up with something like this. Now we want to practice wrapping the our body tube mold with our adhesive tape without water first to make sure that we're comfortable with this process and, and that we can do it uh, we can do it well. So you're going to start with a down 45 degree angle. You have the tape on the back side like you see here. And then you'll just start wrapping it around. There will be a slight overlap as you move down your body mold. And when you get to the end, you know, if, you, if you're at that down 45 degree angle, you should get almost all the way to the end, just like you see here in the picture. If you're not making it that, for, that far, you're not angling down quite enough. And once you're comfortable doing that, we'll go ahead and move right in and get the, the adhesive tape wet. So if you flip that, that red adhesive tape over, the brown side is the side with the adhesive on it. Just run it quickly under some tap water. Don't leave it uh, sitting there for very long or you'll wash the adhesive off. And then you're just going to do that same process we just practiced. Wrap it down and smooth it out as you go. Don't be in too big of a rush here. You're going to go ahead and put all three layers on at once, well just one after the other, and then set that aside to completely dry uh, before removing the mold or doing anything else with it. We'll get back to it in just a bit. Now as far as building the fins, go ahead and start off with uh, drawing out some 45 degree angles on either end. Uh, you see on the left hand side I started in the upper corner and then drew a 45 degree angle down and on the on the far right side I drew a 45 degree angle down ending in that that bottom corner then divide it out into thirds and you'll cut these out to look something like this. Okay now locate your parachute get it all laid out ready to work with that's what we'll do next. Cut it out along the dotted lines on the outline there so that you end up with a parachute that looks something like this. Go ahead and locate the string that comes as part of your kit and we're going to cut out six shroud lines that are about 12 inches long. So go ahead and cut six of those and lay them by each corner. At each corner, um, before we tape on those shroud lines, go ahead and put a loop or a little hook in the end of your shroud line and I just go ahead and put that on the tape first before taping it down to the parachute. This will keep our shroud lines from being pulled out if they get pulled on a little bit. And with that tape down it should look something like this. Now go ahead and locate the eyelet or the eye screw uh, that comes as part of your kit. And you're going to take each one of those six shroud lines, loop it through the eyelet and fold it back on itself just like you see me holding here. Then take some scotch tape 
and wrap tightly around where you've overlapped the ends of the shroud lines back onto itself. Wrap that all tight to secure it to the eyelet. Then that eye screw can just be screwed into the bottom of the, your nose cone. Next, let's attach one end of the shock cord. And the shock cord is just going to get looped through your eyelet again, fold it over on itself, and wrap it up with some tape. Now let's finish tidying up the body tube of our rocket. Go ahead and remove the mold. Once that's completely dry, it should just slide out. If it doesn't slide out easily, just tear a little bit of the adhesive on the ends um, where it might have gotten stuck to the mold. Go ahead and cut those ends flush. Now we're going to finish attaching the parachute assembly uh, with the shock cord to our body tube. So at the top end of your body tube, just put a little loop in the shock cord like you see here, and then wrap the tape all the way around the top of the body tube. For the engine mount assembly, you're going to need uh, from top to bottom here the engine lock, the engine mount case, and the two engine lugs. The engine lock goes flush against the engine mount case with the little tabs facing inward on the case and then the two engine lugs just fit over the outside of both of those together. So assemble it like this. We're going to add a little bit of glue on the inside and outside edges of those lugs to keep them from moving along that case at all. Practice inserting the engine mount into the bottom of your body tube with, without any glue to permanently keep it in there. Just make sure that it fits. And then we're going to add glue just along the outside flat top of those two lugs. Just add some glue and we'll stick it all the way in glued like you see here. Now for inserting the parachute, we're going to start with the wadding which is the flame resistant tissue paper that's in your kit. Go ahead and grab it, crumple it up, and stuff it down in the top. And that will protect our parachute from the engine. Then you can take your parachute. I kind of roll it up. You don't want it to be stuffed in um, to where it has a hard time coming out. And go ahead and insert that into the top of your rocket along with all the shroud lines and the shock cord. For your fin locations, we have three fins. They just need to be evenly spaced around the bottom of your body tube. And then go ahead and start gluing those on. And you'll notice the side that we're gluing on, the bottom of that side just comes down to the bottom of the body tube. This is what it should look like once you get all the three of those fins on there. And there you have it, a finished rocket ready to launch. Um, in further videos, we'll go over the different engines you can use and our launch system. But uh, you're ready to go. For additional information on, on rocket building and rocketry, go ahead and visit my class YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash techexploration. Thanks for watching. This is Todd Anderson, signing off.